Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through the transactional aspects within the exchange platform, basically how to fund your account using Bitcoin, how to buy royal coins, how to sell royal coins and also then how to withdraw your Bitcoin into your respective Bitcoin wallet. So just to recap on what exactly C-CEX is, it's a cryptocurrency exchange platform. So the best way is to compare it to a foreign exchange platform where you typically buy and sell the major fiat currencies such as US dollar, euro, pound and Japanese yen. So over here you typically enter the market with Bitcoin and then you buy any of the respective um, cryptocurrencies that's available on the platform. And then you sell those cryptocurrencies and exit again using Bitcoin. So I'm already on the home page and I'm going to quickly just log in. And um, as I log in, it takes me to the trade screen. So I need to make a deposit into my Bitcoin wallet. So for me to do that, I go on the left to the ledger button and that takes me through obviously highlighting my favorite coins. It shows me the respective coins and their addresses which have already been generated. So if I look here at Bitcoin, you can see that I already have a balance and um, I have an address. So that address, if you don't have one yet, then just click on get new address. Um, use that then to make your deposit using your particular wallet. So as you can see here on the top, I already have a pending deposit with some um, confirmations that need to come through. Um, it's just a couple of extra dollars that I've deposited in here. So from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and place a buy order for Royal Coins. So since I already have some Bitcoins, I'm able to do that. So for me to go and place a buy order, I need to go to trade. So on the left, you just click on trade. And then obviously make sure you click on the Bitcoin um, icon or button within the Royal Coin uh, currency. And then if you scroll down a bit, then we can see on the left, we've got the section buy RYCN for BTC. So I can basically go and enter, let's say I want to buy two coins. It will show the price over there. Um, that I'm going to buy it at the total. This is then in the middle, the price per royal coin at the moment. So I'm just going to scroll up. Then I can see I do have enough um, Bitcoins to do the transaction. And all I need to do then is just click on buy RYCN. And then I review the information here and then confirm. And then there we go on the bottom left. You can see it shows that I've bought two royal coins and there's obviously a transaction fee of 0.2% and um, then my royal coin uh, balance obviously now have increased and my Bitcoin balance have decreased. So basically what I need to do now is just to take a look at my balances. So we can see here my balance for Bitcoin has decreased and my Royal Coin balance has increased a bit. So basically now um, I've bought my two coins and I've taken a look at my ledger balances. So if I want to sell the Royal Coins that I have, I need to go and place a sell order. So again, for any transactions, I need to go to trade on the left and then enter on the right hand side where it says sell ROIC in 4 BTC, enter the amount that I would like to sell. So let's say I'd like to sell two coins and I'll see again the amount that I'm going to sell it for. That's a total BTC that I'm going to receive and that is, the, that is then the price per Royal Coin. So then I click on sell RICN and I click on confirm and then at the bottom left you'll see that it says sold RICN for X amount of Bitcoins with the commission there as well for the platform. So if you scroll down over here you can see the respective sell and buy orders in the system. So if I want to sell any of these coins 
and there are no buy orders, then the, then the order will obviously stay pending until it's fulfilled. Now that I've sold some coins and I have a balance in my Bitcoin wallet within this platform, I can go ahead and withdraw some of that. So over on the left, I can click on Ledger. And next to Bitcoin, there's a button Withdraw. So I simply click on that and then enter my Bitcoin wallet address, for example, blockchain, and then the amount that I'd like to withdraw. So you'll notice a difference between the amount that you've requested and the amount you'll get, and that's basically due to some fees. So you simply click on transfer. Then you'll receive this pop-up message telling you that they've sent you a confirmation email. In the confirmation e email, you'll receive two links. So the one link is to confirm the withdrawal. And once you click on that, it takes a couple of minutes and then you'll receive the, bit the Bitcoin into your wallet. And the other link is basically just to cancel your withdrawal. And then immediately the funds that you've requested will be returned back to your wallet within C-CX. So this basically covers then the transactional aspects of this exchange platform. Yeah.